supply ship heads for Russia's Arctic coast. It's bringing food, medicine, and most importantly, a lot of warm clothing for people in Russia's far north. In Soviet times, this system was subsidized, but since the end of communism, the people have had to depend on international organizations. With temperatures plummeting, it needs an escort of two nuclear-powered icebreakers. The Red Cross is organizing this trip and hopes to supply 60% of the region's needs. During the Soviet Union time, they experienced no problems at all because they were supplied with actually everything she was needed. After the Soviet Union breakdown, you know, no system, no transport lines, no fuel. From the port, provisions are carried by helicopter to towns and villages. When a helicopter arrives, it's always a big day. Some settlements here can be as small as just one family, and sometimes they live hundreds of kilometers from one another. People hunt the tundra and fish for food, but inflation means they can't afford to buy basic goods. We used to buy a lot of flour for 100 rubles. Now the same amount costs 10 times that. We can't afford to buy anything. With the lack of government support, many are choosing to leave, but there are many who have nowhere else to go.